In this tutorial, we are going to look at calculating the interest rate that we're going to use for forecasting as part of our company analysis project. The thing with interest rates as given on Yahoo Finance is that they don't give us a separate interest rate for interest earned on cash and a separate interest rate for interest paid on debt. What they give us is one interest rate and it's net interest. It's their total interest paid minus their total interest earned. So it means that we need, when forecasting, to run through a few steps, jump through a few hoops to figure out what interest rate to use, and then to figure out how to forecast it. So I outlined a few steps. First, we're going to bring in short-term debt and long-term debt, and we're going to add them together to get total debt. Then we're going to bring in the value for cash and marketable securities or cash and cash equivalents and we're going to subtract that and then that's going to be net debt. Net debt is debt owed minus cash on hand. Then we're going to bring in our interest paid and we're going to divide our interest paid by our average net debt um, in order to get our interest rate to use. So here's where we're going to start. So we're going to look for our short-term or current portion of long-term debt on the balance sheet. So I will come over here and I've set it equal and what I want is the, court, the short current portion of long-term debt and then I can drag it over and because those two cells are right next to one another we'll have on the common size sheet cell B46 and then here will be common size sheet cell C46. So now let's do long-term debt equals common size sheet, long-term debt, and I'll drag it over. So it'll be common size B48 and C48. The total amount of debt that this company has is equal to the sum of these two things. They're short-term debt and long-term debt. So I'm going to bring this over. I'm going to just do some formatting here to make sure that I've got dollar signs with no decimals. And then I know that this is what we owe. However, we have some cash and cash equivalents. So we need to figure out what those are. And I'm going to get those again on the common size statement. Cash and cash equivalents. Drag it over. And that means that what we owe less the cash we have on hand is going to be equal to our total debt minus our cash and cash equivalents. That means that our net debt, our debt net of cash on hand, is going to be equal to 1.78 million in 2012 and it was equal to 1.19 million in 2011. So the interest that we paid is going to be the interest paid on our debt minus the interest earned on our cash. So it's essentially going to be an interest rate as a percentage of the difference between debt and cash. So I'm interested in the interest only that we paid in 2012. Why? Because interest is a little bit like depreciation. When we're figuring out how much our depreciation expense is, did I click the right one? Interest expense net, okay good. I've got to assume that, okay, we owed 1.19 at the beginning, 1.178 at the end. That means that we've paid interest at the beginning of the year. Our monthly interest payments were close, made on a balance close to 1.19. However, we borrowed some and paid some off during the year, borrowed some, paid some off, and every month we would make interest payments. So to make it easy on ourselves, we're just going to use the average of these two. So our net interest rate is going to be equal to our interest paid divided by our average net debt, 8.05%. I'm going to take this back into my common size statement, and here where it says interest expense net in my value drivers, I'm going to set it equal to the net interest that I calculated on my value driver sheet of 8.05%. And this is going to be equal to the percent of, well actually I'll call it 8.05% of net debt, where net debt equals total debt 
minus cash and cash equivalents on hand. So that is the method that we're going to use for calculating our net interest rate on our pro forma statements. And if you have any questions, let me know.